Hi, my name is Joshua Herman, and we're going to compile Open Splat, which is an implementation of 3D Gaussian splatting and C++. So basically, it takes a bunch of camera poses and creates um, a scene file, or what we could say as a, th a 3D model. We're going to use MLX, which allows for Apple Metal GPUs to be an accelerator for this. They have a song, but I'm not going to play it right now. So let's go clone the, the GitHub repository. You could also download the zip file and it should be fine. But we'll just do the um, directions here. Now, for macOS, you need these brew packages. I've, pre I've already installed it, but I would just tell you to just copy and paste it again, just to double check that you have everything. Now, when you build it, let's go into, we're now in the open threat directory. You will need, uh, because of how it's using CMake, you, it create, you need a build folder created and you need the CD to the build directory. Now the next step is to, is to execute the CMake, which is similar to make files and it will compile it. Now they have a path to libtorch here. And what you're going to do to figure that out is you're going to have to do brew info pyport. The info command basically will tell you where in homebrew it will be. Now this this is the installed, and then we navigate to this direct. And now we can go to lib, and now we do pwb. And we can want to confirm that that's the libtorch path. And then we'll copy and paste that into the compilation part so that we can use MLX or metal acceleration. And now we wait a little bit for it to compile. I'm compiling on an M1 Max, the 14.2 model. with 64 gigabytes of RAM. If you have M M M2 or greater, you'll have a little bit more performance. The M4 might be a larger set of performance and actually executing this especially it because the M series have been slowly getting higher and higher clock speeds. And that's what generally compilation can do. And then they say to execute open split. And this is just to verify that the binary compile. And it outputting the help is a good consideration that it's fine. Now we want to just test the system. So to test the system, we want to get this banana split. So we're in the run section and let's pick the banana splat. Note that this is the number of iterations that they want you to do. So what I did was you click on the banana and it has a Google Drive resource. And there is a deep G drive. 
I don't have it to do that, but for simplicity, we're just, I'm just going to download this. We're using this as mainly a test. As and as we can see, we can even look at what's in it. And it's a set of images, a reconstruction. And we can click look. And there's a picture of banana. So we have to now, what I'm going to do, I'm just being rather lazy and just gonna drag it here. And then after that, we want to do the command. It's important to do this run function, even if we didn't want to do it for a banana, just to make sure that everything works. And also, it sort of gives you a benchmark or some intuition on how long these tasks will be. So let's we do open splat. We need the path of the banana. So we could use the relative path, but I don't really want to leave things to chance. So we're going to execute it. This is the syntax to execute a, um, a, bin a binary. And then we want to give the path and then n is the number of iterations so when we want it we'll get this and now it's using mps We can even see GPU processes and we GPU history. Let's get the activity monitor. Need to get the activity might, might be hidden. Um, but let's look for open split. It's using 7.4% GPU and 59% CPU. As we wait, we should, could, let's go into generally Gaussian splatting overrode it and made it to CPU processing instead of GPU. I would say a good diagnostic test to know if something's wrong is seeing NAN and you know output where it wrote and we can open the directory. Then we have the splat pie. A quick look at so I do see banana but it's not color
Okay, so now we see the correct output. So to summarize how to debug this is, so you must use CPU output. You must use CPU so far. Really, um, this was from the latest master build, or not the latest, the master branch. Okay, so I was able to get it running correctly um, using this. Um, we can see the output in this model builder. The corrected command is open flat, and then we force it to use CPU using this flag, and then you'd specify it as before. Per, during training, it took um, was from 1037 to 1106, which is around 20 minutes. So that's pretty much it. With this, I'll do a further video on actually capturing um, this using cameras so that you can create these 3D objects. I hope you uh, gained a lot of experience um, with what I have in this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Okay, so here I did CPU training, or really, okay, here I did, I do overrode it and made it to CPU processing instead of GPU. I would say a good diagnostic test to know if something's wrong is seeing NAN, and it'll output where it wrote and we can open the directory then we have this flat pie a quick look at we do see banana but it's not color
Okay, so now we see the correct output. So to summarize how to debug this is, so you must use CPU output. You must use CPU so far. Um, this was from the latest master build, or not the latest, the master branch. Okay, so I was able to get it running correctly um, using this. Um, we can see the output in this model builder. The corrected command is open slat, and then we force it to use CPU using this flag, and then you'd specify it as before. Per, during training, it took um, was from ten thirty seven to eleven oh six, which is around twenty minutes. So that's pretty much it. With this, I'll do a further video on actually capturing um, this using cameras, so that you can create these 3D objects. I hope you uh, gained a lot of experience um, with what I have in this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.